Hi guys, welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking and today what I'm going to show you is my crock pot chicken and shells. It's really good so let's get started. I have two chicken breasts that I flattened and then I'll cut it in half, put it in my crock pot. So I'll just cut it in half. I'll salt and pepper each side. I have my crock pot on high. And here's the second chicken breast. I'll place that in my crock pot. To this I'll add some chicken broth. I'll add in one 32 ounce container of chicken broth. So in my crock pot, I have my two chicken breasts, salt and pepper, 32 ounces of chicken broth. I'll add in eight ounces of cream cheese. Now I'll put my lid on. And you'll cook this for about five to six hours or until the chicken is fully cooked. Once the chicken is fully cooked, then you'll shred it. Now I'll take two cups of frozen broccoli and add that into my chicken. I'll just place that in. I'll put my lid back on. And this is what I call my crock pot chicken and shells. Now I took my chicken out of my crock pot and what I'm going to do is shred it up and then place it back into my crock pot. Now that my chicken is all shredded, I'll place it back in my crock pot. I'll place one pound of the shells uncooked. I'll place it right into my crock pot. Mix it all in. Once the noodles have softened up and cooked a little bit in this sauce, I'll put a little mozzarella cheese on top, salt and pepper, and this crock pot chicken and shells is so good. So now I'll put my lid back on. Now I'll check on my crock pot chicken and shells. Oh yeah, it's getting there. Looking good, it smells good. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'll add a little salt and pepper. A tablespoon of parsley flakes. Now I'll mix this all in. Really smells good. I'll give it a little try. Mm mm mm. Mm, good. A few more minutes. Now I'll take eight ounces of shredded mozzarella cheese, place it on top. I'll let that melt in and then it's ready to be served. Now I'll check on it. Oh yeah, that's looking good. I'll add a little bit more pepper, just a tad bit more salt, mix it around. Give it a little try. Mm -mm -mm. Perfect, it's done. Now doesn't this look good? I can't wait to eat this. This is one of my family's favorite. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking and watch me make my crock pot chicken and shells. Enjoy.